This weekend is the first Garrett Bowles football camp of its kind in Colorado. And the reason it's down at Fountain Fort Carson High School, a very special part of his heart is right here in Southern Colorado. <laughs> Call it a reboot, not a rebuild for Garrett Bowles. The Broncos left tackle took his bumps and bruises in his rookie year, and he's promising to take a turn for the better. Garrett Bowles in year two is a completely different player. I feel like I'm stronger, I'm faster. I put on a lot more size so that I don't get really pushed around. Um, and uh, not only that, but I have great coaches. I'm not going to be going backwards. I'm going to be getting on them fast and using you know, my athletic ability to, to craft my game so that I can be the best left tackle in the game. He made a quick impression with the team from his physical play and the penalties to his big personality and a few of the things he'd say. To quote you, my quarterback is like my wife. If you touch her, you're in trouble. Did that get you in trouble on the field? Um, yeah, I mean, of course it did, um, but that I sort of loved it at the same time. Yeah. You know, they, it just showed them that I cared about football. It showed them that I wanted to win. I wanted to be the best. Um, and that's just how my mentality was. You can ask any one of my teammates, you know, they call me crazy for a reason, um, just because I'm just that person. I'm always saying funny things or I'm always speaking my mind. Um, but at the same time, they know that I'll be the first one there if they needed somebody also. Is that your nickname? Are you, are you crazy? Is that your nickname now? Um, um, a lot of people say that, crazy or, all right, Bulls, all right, Bulls. That's what a lot of them say now. So, Other than figuring out the defenses and handling a three-quarterback rotation last year, the biggest challenge for Bulls in his rookie year was off the field being a new father to young baby Kingston with his wife, Natalie. Knowing that I had a wife and a son that I get to go home to every night and knowing that it takes me away from the office and I just get to, you know, leave that stuff at the office and come home and just be with my beautiful wife and son was a great blessing for me. Bulls leaned on his family and his faith in the tough times last year. Before he was drafted, he served his Mormon mission in Pueblo and Colorado Springs and will always hold Southern Colorado close to his heart. Uh, they're probably the most loving people I know and kindness. Um, I, don't, I didn't think I hear one thing bad that they said. They were always eager and, and wanted to, to listen. But I have, I have a special connection down there. I have a lot of people I love and continue to keep in contact with. And, you know, I call them family. You know, was, Southern Colorado is family to me, knowing that I served those people for so long. And the food's outstanding down there. I don't know if too much people know about the food down there, but it's fantastic food. Um, and that's what I, that's probably what the biggest thing is the food. And, but, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But the, the people are awesome. I'm, I'm very grateful for the friendships and um, the, the love that I have for them. We did talk to Gary about a couple sloppers down in Pueblo. Mm. He didn't have one when he was down there. So what? we might have to ship one up to Dove Valley yeah. and have a whole team have a couple sloppers. That I'm thinking nice. a couple didn't get a cut probably with that like, guy. Yeah, he probably needs about six or seven couple, of them. A couple dozen, maybe. <laughs> yeah. How about a couple dozen? He's a big boy. <laughs>